So this thing is parking itself. That's what it's doing. It's going to plug in, get a recharge. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. Listen, there are a lot of robotic mowers in this place. It's, it's insane. All right, now we're going to head outside. We're going to see what they have outside for us to play on. Look at what's in front of me, guys. Look at this stuff. So much to see and do. Let's go have some fun. I was just telling you about robotic mowers. Look at this. This is a big guy, right? Big guy. I think uh, this one might be GPS driven, I believe. You know, remember that line painter that my school district has that paints lines on the field? This reminds me of that. Really, it's got a lot of the... Oh, I can see you can, you can also stand behind it, guys. So you can either stand behind it or let it do its own thing while you eat your lunch. <laughs> Okay, and there's another one beyond it. Let's go check that out. All right, so what I'm seeing, what I'm understanding now, I'm starting to get the idea. This is a stand behind mower that's been retrofitted to now be an automatic on its own mower. Weird, huh? It is the future of lawn care. So, guys, if you're in the lawn care industry, you better buy yourself a robotic mower uh, because, you know, it's just gonna be a matter of five, 10 years and all these lawn companies, all these all these uh, associations, uh, golf courses probably too. I don't, I don't know. It's gonna affect a lot of municipalities. They're gonna be going robotic. They are. Why? Because it, it's cost savings. So I wonder about, the guys that are in these jobs now, if they're gonna be able to find different things to do because you know, you can only stay so busy fertilizing and aerating and, and doing those types of things. So who knows what's gonna happen. Guys, I found some Kubota tractors. They're not brand new, but we're gonna check them out anyway. They're right over there. I'm not too sure if there's so much featuring in this or if this is, oh yeah, they're featuring something. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but that's pretty cool. I don't know. I think a lot of you have heard of Skag Zero Turns. Well, here's their display. They got a they got a little uh, little course I could drive on if I wanted to, but I I'd love to use a lot of this stuff and try it out, but. I'm kind of on a time crunch. I, I, I want to get as much film as I possibly can. I just want to show you guys everything that's here today. I'm not going to be able to show you everything that's here today. I'm going to show you a lot of stuff that's here today. Arctic is here, right? The Arctic, the snow plow manufacturing company. Check this out, you guys. Look at this. Look at this thing. Watch. That is cool. Yeah, I don't Literally have a, it's not all the way on the ground because otherwise you'd peel the blocks up off the ground because yeah, sure. of the scraping ability of the plow. Okay. So we get them to raise it a little bit so you understand the geometry of the plow and how it all works. Absolutely. Hey, I'm from Minnesota. I understand snow plowing. Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. I got this. I got it figured out. Absolutely. You get the snow and ice as well. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are for the big guys, right? I'm just one of the little guys that takes care of my neighbors, but this is cool to see. You guys I wouldn't make consider it to say it only for the big guys. <laughs> We have light duty plows for skid steers, okay. for compact tractors, your Kubotas. Yeah. Got a lot of people that do a lot of private driveways that are over, you know, two, 300 foot long. All right. So we're going to be checking that stuff out too, guys. <laughs> Maybe we can make a deal with this guy, get one on the channel. <laughs> Indeed, there you go. Let's do it. I think, I think he's just kidding. <laughs> All right. Some of you guys that watch my channel, <laughs> this thing's awesome. Some of you that watch the channel, you are snow removal guys. I know you are. And if, if you are, let me know in the comments. I, I know there's a lot of you guys that are just, we're just tractor guys. We're just out in the woods, right? But some of you guys are snow removal guys. So guy was just telling me they make a 32 foot, 32 foot snow plow that they, it's generalized for, you know, airports and things like that. The one he's leaning on over there, that's a 17 footer. And I think this one on here, that must be, 
that's 12 or 15 feet at least man these these things are built well let's watch this one more time check this out all these individual sections pop up so you can run over a curb or you know a frozen cat on the ground or something <laughs> look at this thing That's how a snowplow is supposed to work for commercial lots, right? I don't want to be taking out curbs and having to do, redo stuff in the spring. So anyway, we came over here to Mulch, mate. We're going to go check out some of their products. I don't know a whole lot about the mulch industry, right? So let's see what they got. Look at mulch, they, mulch mate. They also make the snow mate for snow pushing. They've got a cart here for moving stuff around the yard. It's got a single wheel, so it's easy to move, obviously. A little bigger cart with double wheels all pivoting. Looks like you can uh, retrofit this for any type of equipment you want. And uh, yeah, a great big mulch hauling container there. Oh, yeah. Look at it. That mover. That's pretty cool. How's it going? Just getting some video footage here. Cool products here. You want to see it go? Oh, absolutely. We want to see it go. Don't we, guys? We want to see this thing in action, don't we? We'll make you work a little bit. Yeah, it's the most. Yeah, yeah. It's the most thing. Yeah. It's got the tarp that's in the bed of the truck, and as you push the button, it brings the tarp into itself. Spin the augers in the machine. Uh, spin. They pop like a mulch. And the conveyor deposits on the conveyor, and the conveyor shoots it out in your wheelbarrow in about three seconds. That couldn't be any handier, right? Yeah. Instead of having a great big pile that you're you're scooping out of now you're just having the truck just dump it in the wheelbarrow and, yep. and get a crew of guys put it wherever you want yeah otherwise you have to shovel it out with pitchforks yeah you got to move it up an extra time yeah so oh that's awesome yeah. that's all you gotta do that's fantastic i don't know a whole lot about the mulch industry but i know it's there's money to be made in it oh yeah do you guys make your own mulch too or, uh, or we don't do you we have any equipment mulch. for that we just make this machine that goes in the back just get it this thing's incredible. If somebody's interested in mulch, mate, where, where could they find you? Uh, just visit mulchmate.com. And YouTube, we have tons of videos on YouTube. YouTube stuff too. All right, mulchmate.com. Check it out. If, hey guys, I know a lot of us, we're just tractor guys. We're snow pushing guys. There's, there's mulch guys that watch this channel. Mulchmate.com. Thanks very much, you have a good one. Appreciate it. Look at this, dump trailer. Retrofits right on the back of that. How handy is that? All right find some other stuff all right so so next to the arctic snow stuff is where we got metal metal plus right metal plus, yeah. metal plus company okay they've got something super unique that i'm just seeing and uh we've got ben here ben linder he's gonna show that he's gonna, he's gonna take some time out of his day <laughs> and show us all this work where are you guys based out in minnesota we're in minnesota i'm in minnesota too st cloud area i know not, this is, not massachusetts not massachusetts no i promise I, <laughs> I, that's not where i live i'm a minnesota guy I'm here representing Curtis Artillion Company, gotcha. so I'm helping them out a little bit with their stuff, but uh, I move snow. All right, Ben. You're from Minnesota, you have St. St. Cloud area, <laughs> yes sir. All right, show me how this thing works. This is awesome. Even though it's on a green tractor, I still want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing this, guys? No way. That is super awesome. Wow! I've never seen anything like that in my life. That is the coolest thing. I, and it, it has, is this on the market yet? Can somebody buy one of these things? I mean, this is this is it, a first. It, should, it should be coming to market soon. They're they're just making sure that it's going to hold up in you okay, know once yeah. it once it comes to market. So sure. there's still some testing happening up in Canada. All right. Um, that see my Canadian friends. I get fifteen percent of my 15. subscribers are up from uh, <laughs> up from Canada. So you Canadian guys. 
they're doing the serious testing up in your land, up in your neck of the woods. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm sure there's some free syrup being exchanged and stuff up there. Hey, this is this is something. This is really neat. Yeah, it's a pretty cool rig. Well, because it's so versatile. There's so many guys that are doing, you know, big driveways, and then you oh, you can't get into this one because it's too small. And this is awesome. I hey Ben, I really appreciate you showing me this. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot. Where can where can people find you guys? Has you got a website or something? You can find us at vsinnovation.com. vsinnovation.com. Check it out, you guys. Metal Plus Plows. Wow. Haven't seen anything like that before, have you? That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs>